Um, yeah, I think we went in a toss, wanted to bat first. Um, and I guess when you're 90 odd for five, that's never an ideal start. Um, but yeah, just so proud of uh, Brooke Halliday's innings there. Um, for a while there, we were probably looking under 200, which was not going to be enough. And to push up to that 230 mark, I think we were in with a chance in the second innings. But obviously, when you lose early wickets, it makes it tough to rebuild. So we were probably 30 runs short. Um, and then Smriti Mandana um, played that anchor innings beautifully, and we didn't take enough wickets. So I don't think it was misreading the pitch. I just think we lost wickets and run outs has nothing to do with the pitch. Um, so yeah, just not quite enough runs on the board. Um, yeah, it's, we were out in the middle talking about what we could do differently, trying to squeeze fielders in, but they kept getting boundaries and we were probably leaking runs each over. And we couldn't, like you said, string those overs of three, four runs and over and build some pressure. And I think the way um, Yastika and Smriti played, we felt like we needed fielders out, but perhaps we could have attacked for a bit longer. Um, and yeah, the wicket, you know, it's pretty flat when you're in. Um, and we tried to take pace off and use the bouncer occasionally, but um, yeah, they sort of outplayed us with the bat and that partnership between Hum and Pret and Smriti took the game away from us. Yeah, well, it's nice that we've got a t 2020 World Cup um, under our belt and that's given us a lot of confidence and belief in world cricket. and. I think there's so many positives we can take from this series. I thought game one, we bowled them out for an underpass score and, and we perhaps, looking back on that chase without Mealy Kerr, um, we missed her throughout the series as well, but so many positives with our batters have stepped up. Um, we know we've got seven batters that can score 50s and 100s and it was just so nice to see different players step up throughout the 2020 World Cup and throughout this One Day World Cup. I think um, it was just really beneficial to play in these conditions against India with that World Cup coming up and we're going to take lots of lessons from the conditions, um, from what we need to work on. Um, I think our spinners will learn a lot from the pace and lengths you need to bowl over here. So yeah, just excited what this group uh, can do. We've got domestic cricket at home so go home and dominate that and then next year I think you know we we know how good we can be when we play like we did in game two. We've just got to do that more consistently. Mm -hmm. Is this with the ball or with the bat? With the ball. With the ball. Um, yeah, I think it's a type of wicket that you build pressure by bowling consistently and you don't necessarily um, nick people off or seam the ball around. And I think India learnt from the other night that the ball swings in the first 10 overs and they left a lot, so they didn't give us those opportunities that they gave us the other night. And I, I think they left well, got through the first 10 overs when the ball was swinging and then it really flattens out. And so, yeah, look, we will look back on that game of how we can perhaps bring a fielder up earlier, have catches in, um, but they just sort of kept scoring runs, so we were caught in between of whether to attack or defend. But yeah, it's definitely um, something in hindsight that's easy to look at, but we felt we had enough runs on the board that we could build pressure, but perhaps, yeah, we could have been more attacking. Oh, well, so much 2020 cricket. Um, so actually getting back into 50 over cricket and remembering the tempo. Um, but yeah, I think as I've watched the game unfold, um, you've had to develop different shots behind the wicket. Um, and just this bowling has got better and better and more consistent. So uh, you have to work hard for your runs. You don't get as much width um, as perhaps with now everyone being professional cricketers. Everyone's um, gotten a lot better. So look, you just had to grow with that and learn ways to score runs in different conditions. I think we play on really good wickets. Um, now we play at the main stadium, it's the biggest stadium in India, is that right? Um, yeah, so you get good wickets, but it, it is just evolving with the pace of the bowling, um, learning to access different areas because, you know, when I first started playing, perhaps 200 was a pass score, and now 250 to 300, and as an opener, you've got to push those scores, and everyone in the batting order has to be willing to take risks earlier to push that 250. I think you're doing a great job compared to when I last toured here. Um, the fans in the crowd, obviously the women's IPL has created huge fans around India. You've got young girls wanting to 
Beast Marty Mandana, um, or Jimmy Rodriguez, so like, I think you're doing a great job. And you know, India is where everyone wants to play cricket because of the fans. And I think if you can keep them engaged in women's cricket through the IPL and exciting cricket in the Indian team, um, you're going to have lots of depth. And that's what we try and do in New Zealand is just play an exciting brand. And this Indian team are doing that. Thank you.